Hey guys, how's it going? Um, yeah, let's do the West of Loathing. What the fuck? What am I? Sorry. Hope that's good. Alright. I don't remember what I was doing. Uh, this guy's totally out of it. He's gibbering and drooling. Doesn't seem to even. It doesn't seem to even see you. He put the headband on him and he blinks rapidly, shaking his head. Oh my goodness, where am I? Or am I? Uh, I'm still in mine. Uninjured and hungry, but not starving. So I can't have been here very long. Perhaps a day. Good, good. Well, I have to thank you, friend. How are you feeling better? I should say so. Thank you for uh, uh, footing me with this remarkable device. Don't mention it. What's your name? This is the story that takes a long time. Yeah, but I'm, I mean, I'm, I have plans to complete it. Also, General, how's it going? Murray. Murray Morris, excavator of the unknown, purveyor of mysteries. Fancy what brings you to this mine? Why, well, excavating the unknown mysteries to purvey, of course. Or at least I was attempting to. Must admit that until you put this device on me, I was quite overcome. Overcome? I'm oversensitive to psychic. Uh, emanations, you see? Always have been. Good, nice. White shell like a white shell and blue spines. Target the person last bitch to be a dick. Nice. You better doing a good general. Thank you for the hydrate. Yeah, thank you. Just good business might come down here. But I took the gamble. I'm lost. It's a miraculous thing that you happened to buy when you did, my friend. We should both get out of here as soon as possible. Uh, I've been staying at a town called Dirtwater to the south. You could probably do some business purveying mysteries there. Capital idea? Then I should see there. Fs his back onto her shoulder and leaves with a wave. Let's we'll manage to get that set done. How's everybody's day been? I want to go to Dirtwater to see what other things I have. School is exhausting? Yes it is. But it's a good thing I'm not in it. Haha! <laughs> I'm sorry. I thank you again for that, dirt. Get away from something that makes your eyes water. You tr You trace it to its source. A vividly colored red shape hanging from a scraggly little plant. This must be the southeast western murder pepper that Feller at the jewel was looking for. Your finger and thumb immediately start throbbing as you pluck the pepper. You toss it into your rucksack before it could do any more damage. I got the murder pepper. It seems like something moist would eat. Oh, I got a package from Rufus. Nice. I can send a postcard. Dear bro, I thought you might be able to use this. Got portable arcane oven. Installs an arcane oven in your room at the Jewel. Huh. 
This crate contains a dismantled arcane oven, which explains why it's so heavy and also why things that get near it keep spontaneously levitating. Okay, sure. This is the Brewing Company, Murray's Curiosity and Bean. Hello again. Thank you for telling me about this town, my friend. It's a marvelous location. It's two two good turns you've done for me. I don't mention it. Speaking of which, here's your curious head bent back. Fortune willing, I won't be needing it again. No more gambles like that for me. Where's all your merchandise? In the locked case behind me, there are things that must be kept from prying eyes and unprepared minds. And thieving hands? All that goes without saying. Alright. See what you've got. Get more non combat random encounters. Nice. Ooh. Okay, well, I know where I'm coming as soon as I. Serve any purpose if you are a master chef. Oh. You should also you should always read books uh, because it's uh, bean slinger. I figured as much, but my problem is, is that I don't know if uh, because I know some of the uh, next max debuffs are like very damaging uh, oh I need to bring a ghost pepper somewhere Yes, here it is. Ah, nice big one. That'll last a while. Good going. So if you're still looking for stuff to do, I need someone to go check my mail. I ordered a new saute knife, but I haven't got time to go fetch it myself. Here's a key to my post office box. Alright. Next mix is only not Moxie. Really? Huh? Okay. I, I, okay, I read, I read a mushroom book. Flip through the book and memorize the positions of all the spots and all the mushrooms. After you finish reading the book, you absentmindedly misplace it while musing about mushrooms. Drat. Yes. The book is full of magic spells, which don't make any sense to you until you get to the next last chapter and realize that they're not spells for you to cast, but spells for a skeleton to cast. One of the appendices mention, mentions in passing how to summon such a skeleton. Huh. Let's turn over the last page the book vanishes in a puff of smoke. You don't feel so well. Thin blood. Uh, what does that do? Minus 10 maximum HP. I... Oh, oh fuck. How many next mix books have you found? I don't know. Uh, one, two, I think, three, I want to say three. I remember there was something I was supposed to like upgrade, but I don't remember. Everyone after the first gives a debuff. 
I, w I wish I told you how many you've had. You've had. All right. Uh, I wanted to use this. You saw the arcane oven next to the window. As you th go to throw away the crate, you notice that there are some beans nestled in the packing material. Nice. Uh, you approach the arcane oven and prepare to apply your mystical trade. Is that what I needed? Is... Oh, I needed master cookery. Crap. None of it really affects mysticality. Oh, well, I'm glad for that. I think she's the one that's all moxie. Uh, what did I want to do? Post office box, I guess. You open the box and a torrent of junk mail falls up to reveal a knife just sitting loose in a box. Alright. That was a very minimum. I wanted to go to that jelly bean place with 6,000 or whatever. Excellent, this, this will work a lot better than that hammer I was using. But, I only need one more favor from you, but it's the most important. I used to have, I used to have this recipe for, for a very special, or very secret uh, jerk sauce, but my jerk friend Dave J stole it from me. Then he died and took the secret to his grave. Literally, I mean, he was buried with it. You want me to dig up his grave? He's dead, he won't mind. Alright, we have to find Dave in a graveyard? Oh, it's probably the Dave yard. And then he did mine, huh? <laughs> Your Alvarado Brado transponder starts making that bleeping noise that either means treasure or monsters new Ha! <laughs> Thanks, Uni. Turns out to be a monster? Nuts. Fortunately, doesn't seem to have noticed you. Wait, did that say 104 beam damage? Holy crap. Taught that ancient machine the error of its ancient ways, whatever those are. I returned, welcome. Dave B, Dave C, Dave J. Dig up the grave. Dig up the grave and pry open the coffin. Instead of a corpse, it contains a garbage bag. Strange. You reach into the garbage bag and are surprised to find it's full of pudding? No, it's not just pudding. It's pudding and motor oil. Who would do this? You finally manage to reach all the way to the bottom of the bag and retrieve a sodden lump from the bottom. You want to glove the water and dry it off, then wash your arm in a nearby ditch. This better be worth it. How have you been, Uni? Yeah, I got it. Thanks, million buddy. Now my slop will be world famous. Here, let me give you a little something for all your trouble. I fell off in this. It fell in the slop, but still good. Keep pressing wrong buttons. Plus three mysticality. What does this do? Plus six mysticality. Oh, so I, didn't, I don't need that then. I've been insane. What's going on? That's what you do. If you like some of my world famous slop, you can buy some just like anybody else on the saloon. <laughs> hey, Sphix, how's it going? Magic? Okay. Fix Winnie's as you approach. <laughs> what do you think we should do next? Any other ideas? 
Roy Bean, Susie, Big Bag of Yeast. Alexandria Ranch. F fiduciary Bread. I hope I said that right. This fix solves everything with murder. I'm alive, but man, having a shitty family sucks. Yeah, I understandably. Is that, is that all... Is it all good? Like, are you any... You're not... Unless you're not in danger, are you? Alright, the soup. Alright, so that's... That's done, that's done, that's done. We go to Alexandria Ranch, military ceremony, giant cactus. Alright, let's go to... Redwood. Well, here's the thing out of nightmares. Maybe not your nightmares specifically, but definitely someone's. A human skeleton scuttling towards you, crackling with blue electricity and making a loud hissing noise. That sounds like a cross between a nest of angry rattlesnakes and a broken radio. Time to bust out some science. Hey, Sai, how's it going? Did you just feel like shit? Okay. Oh, I, I hope the shitty feeling subsides at least. I mean, that's what we're here for, right, guys? Our first two materials that are. Uh, did you know that bones, particularly the dry bones like yours, are piezoelectric? Pretty interesting, I didn't know that. It refers to materials that generate an electric charge when they're compressed. Crystals and serpent type of ceramics. I will eat my sorrows away. Yeah. Eating is always good, as long as you do it in moderation. The interesting bit is that the opposite is also true. If you run electric current through the bone, it compresses on itself. At low voltage, at low voltages, this is sometimes used to compress small fractures, and speed up healing time. I actually—that's actually really cool. If it's too much, if too much current is applied, there's a possibility of mechanical strain, and suddenly the skeleton explodes. Okay. Managed to find part of the overdue, bo uh, overdue book from the Redwood Library. Okay. I thought my ship would never, would never get better. Then I moved out to uni. Now I'm a decent spot. Well, that's good. Lock case contains a. I get new markers. Nice. <laughs> Sorry, I could see cope. That's all right. It's all right. Which reminds me, I need to get my clothes out of the wash. You probably should go do that. Uh, the sock case contains a book labeled Gold, Metal, Silver, Smithing. Okay. Make sure it works in the lock and grab the book. Nice. Rich vein, poor vein, and I beat a frickin' needle. This book, written by expert jeweler Dabney Bronze, detailed advanced techniques in melting silver things and turning them into other silver things. Read the book and know a lot more about silversmithing than you knew before. Sure. If you finish reading it, you absolutely drop the nearby mailbox and are unable to retrieve it. This 
comfort shit, so I'm gonna get it on. It's gonna be so good. Aw, oh, nothing, nothing like uh, dryer warm clothes. Like, it, I don't know why the dryer just like heats it up to like the perfect temperature. It's a copy of a very po of a popular financial advice book from a few years ago. It's rare now because various crusades destroy every copy of it. Vain glorious. Much of the book was so old and crumbly that reading it once caused it to be destroyed. So much for literary preservation. Okay, so stove doors plus more armor. Plus seven spell damage. What's Gene today, but my good side doesn't know what to play and my rude side is telling me I'm gonna fail, so I wanna So I want to, but neither part of me can. Um why don't you do some Pokemon showdown? Or muck. Muck works. <laughs> Alright, now I have to go to the military cemetery. Cross paths with Warden, Wander and Sally again. Hell yeah. Cool, now I have enough for, uh... I have enough for, uh... What's it called? The, the, the $6,000 jelly bean. Hey, when buses don't have curtains inside, I don't want people near me watch me deep throw a bag of chip. It, can you wear that any better? Just as if anyone here wants to play Brilliant through BSP, the Elite Four and Cynthia have all perfect competitive teams, Ivy and Eevee trained. I mean, that hasn't stopped me before, just blasting everything that, that exists. Final light. I don't know. Also, look, look at, look at the, like those lantern. Like, oh, did I just botch my lantern somehow? Like it's weirdly skewed. Like, look at it move. It's weird. I don't know why it's messing me up so much. Greatest love poem ever written. Let's check out this book is missing, so I can't tell you who who wrote it. This love poem is so good, you're afraid to even read it because you might fall in love with the book. Yeah. All right. 
Time to go to Roy Beans. So the stretch of the trail has a... Oh, this stretch of trail has a uh, fence bordering it, and someone has gone and put tin cans on all the fence posts without shooting them on afterwards. What in the heck? <laughs> Leave them cans alone. Oh, I even have 6,000 meat for this. What color do I have to go for? What are the options? There's a single yellow jelly bean in this case. Oh, fuck. Alright. How are you doing on the jelly beans? I'm still looking. Recovers 20 jelly beans. Oh, yeah, it's the cactus. There's a blank, a black spot at the base of the mountains to the east. You felt compelled to go investigate. A syrups? No, I don't remember what the syrups was. Oh, I need like a bucket or something, I guess. Oh, if you were a tap, where would you be in this pile of junk? Make a tap or find a tap. I need 40 mysticality. We have. I'm at 31. I need, I need something to buff my, my, uh, mysticality. Ooh, it's hot out here. The desert is just the worst. If you stay here too long, excuse me, you can end up like one of those charred black skeletons crack, uh, cackling towards you. Fight them. Destroyed those skeletons handily, though to be fair, they were pretty d close to destroyed already. Oh, that's a little bit unsettling. Boom. You are on one of us. Be gone from this place, interloper. Now you know something bad is going down. Nobody good uses the word interloper. But that had been honor. Hold it still a second, I just want to put this thing on your head. Huh, what? Oh jeez, what happened? I feel like I overslept for like a whole week. Blech. So what's going on in this mine? Mine? What are you talking about? Look, I need to go find an aspirin. See you later. Wait, did it, did it just take my... My my headband?
I think I just took my headband. The stream? Oh, Fiend will get scammed, yeah. Hello there, Fall Occultist. What? Go away. Well, it's not very friendly. This isn't a knitting circle. Where's your mask anyway? I want to stop looking at the spiral thing right now. What happened to your mask? I modified it. It made drinking difficult. What happened to your mask? Or I'll be right back. You can buy more at a shop you can unlock. Oh, okay. Or is it built more? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, what's up? I, I got some rocks. Yeah. Master gave them to me. He wanted me to have them. Okay, what's cool about them? They're mine, don't touch them. Okay, you seem kind of injured. I I fell down, but the master picked me back up. That's nice. He'll pick us all back up. He'll pick you back up. Bean iron. Dense bean iron again. <laughs> How's it going? New mask, who dis? Oh. Oh, fuck's sake. Eat them all. Cultus me, cultus, yeah. Why is your mask different? Because I'm the leader of this cell? How can we down here and not know that? Look, I've passed seven different uh, different guys to get here. Obviously, if I weren't meant to be here, that would be impossible. I suppose. So who's this master everyone's talking about? Our great dark master, Roberto. What a name. And are you sure you're supposed to be down here? Sure, sure, it's fine. How's it? I'm listening. To what? The master, of course. Can't you hear him? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. It says, Dear Jeff, big guy says to stay out of here. Praise be Roberto. Sincerely, Jeff. Roberto is very important to the story. Really? The class, a classmate we nick nicknamed Roberto. What a nickname. Your vibrato transponder goes crazy when you get near these rocks. Your depth picking reveals a ladder leading downwards. The screen of this machine says Chanho Cha Cha Chano. Four buttons. Uh, let's leave it for now. Take the cylinder again. Oh, more paper cards. Hey, Terror, how's it going? You'll see why he is. Okay. Head over to Chano. The machine emits a noise like a like a duck and a slot opens. The elbow brought with scraps in your pack vibrate so you can cram some of them in the hole. After ten the slot closes and reopens, having converted your garbage into a hat. Zevanacro Chechachano. The, the machine emits noise like a duck and a slot opens. The elbow brought with scraps in your pack vibrate so you stick them in the slot but nothing happens. Must not be enough. Whew, 11 spell damage. I wish I had like snakeskin stuff. I'm doing alright. Thank you for asking. This is where the grind is? Oh, I have to grind. Okay. Okay, so I have to come back here. There was something with punch cards somewhere. I'm trying to remember.
was it Jumble Knife that I did found that? The Elva brought a chest spot of thing he bleeps and you followed the bleeps to a shallow cave and you thought that you think you might be a bear den. Fortunately the bear isn't in right now and you find a weird crate in the back. Uh you poke with the crate until you find the button that makes it open. Presumably the bear will miss the stuff. Nice. Saw an ad on a bus today. I often see uh, ads on buses. Oh, the elevator is pretty dirt, dusty inside and doesn't appear to have been maintained for quite a while. It does still seem functional, but the control lever is chained and padlocked. You also notice that the shaft is totally silent. You expect to hear the rumbling of minecarts and the clanking of pickaxes echoing up from below, but there's nothing. You pick the lock, remove the chains, and give the lever a yank. The elevator shudders as it begins to descend, accompanied by the sound of clanking chains and grinding pulleys. Very quickly, it becomes too dark to see, and you pull out your lantern. Very slowly, the elevator reaches its destination. You pull the door. You pull the door open and peer into the gloom. Look at the bus check. Still can't get over the CBT sub. <laughs> I can't believe nobody got that. The only post where a good place to grind is. Uh. Yeah, I think that would be helpful. My card's full of rocks, there doesn't seem to be any special about them. Give the card a shove. Put your shoulders to the minecart and give it a shove. It trundles down the track and bonks into the big pile of rocks. quite much to see except for rocks. There's quite a lot of them though, so if you want to look at rocks, there's a great selection to choose from. Nice. Looks like this lever controls a junction in the minecart tracks. Makes a sort of satisfying kerchonk noise. Some of their pickaxe here, I guess is what they would call environmental storytelling. Oh, uh, okay. I can post a Mali accurate chart. Ma? Can I make a joke? Sure. Looks like someone forgot their lunchbox down here. They must be really hungry by now. I wish everything inside has, been, has crumbled to dust except for a wax paper sandwich bag and some raisins that probably weren't intended to become raisins. Okay. Bean iron. This crate is, is, uh, this is a crate of old dynamite. The dynamite gets very dangerous when it ages, but I know better than to try to stop you from <laughs> taking a stick if you decided that's, that you want one. I have decided that. Pick up a stick of old dynamite. I don't recommend you do a lot of hopping up and down while you're carrying that. Some kind of rusty old spring-loaded ra ratcheting mechanism with activation front lever. Some sort of gripper on the front, but isn't gripping anything. Lever, lever is already in the pull position. You try pushing instead, but nothing happens. Rats. Oh, thank you for that, Drake. Go to a club to grind. I've never actually been to a club. Or a rave, or a concert, or whatever. Maybe one day, but... My car is full of rocks, so there doesn't seem to be anything special about them. Stick the old dynamite there. You stick a wedge of unstable old dynamite into the minecart. This possibly can't uh, this can't possibly go awry. Okay. Put your shoulders to the minecart and get it. For a moment you hear a distant clank noise. Let's place your grandest stone. Yeah. Post on Discord, thank you. Clubs have too much fucking people. Yeah. That's one of the reasons I haven't. Uh, pull lever. Actually, give me a second. I'm sorry. Oh. So it's an area I can't go to. Alright, thank you.
It helps, I appreciate it. Let me recognize as when this rust is shut. This is gonna require something heavier duty than a can of oil, it seems. More than a can of oil on this thing. Okay. Maybe there's something up there. Wait, I posted the wrong area? No worries. Piss on the lever. Uh, try to open the safe. Uh-oh. The ghost sleeps out of his chair and charges at you. Without a thinking, you reflexively swing that old pickaxe you found at him, knocking his head clean off. The ghostly form dissolves into nothingness, uh, leaving you with a real eerie feeling. That's fucked. Ah, oh, fucking need safe cracking. I don't have it. Fuck. <laughs> Beheading poggers. Eat some of you all. Let's fix. For fuck's sake. Thirst rocks. Oh. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I want to go to the military so, uh, cemetery. All right, so somebody, somebody give, somebody give me a quick number. Next set, tombstone. You find a pedestal with a leather-bound book on top of it. Looks evil. Uh, you better grab it before somebody else does. Oh, okay. Somebody else give me another money. Eight seven two. Uh, it's a different plot. Oh, six, nine. Dig up the grave. Found a lockbox with some bullets in it. It's nice. I think I've already done 420 last time. Look at the tools. Look under the chair. Let's go by the desk. Flyers on the wall. Forgetting about anything. Stop those skeleton raids. Oh right, I needed to go talk with the the reenactment people. What did I need at the old reenactment? I don't remember where the reenactment place is. It wasn't Fort Treason, because Fort Treason had the place. Hellstrom Fort Memorium, maybe? Penis Fort something, yeah. It's crazy hot out here. Those are just the worst if you... Oh, okay. More of those with the burnt skeletons.
the wisdom beam. Yeah. I could stream Overwatch if I chose to play actual Overwatch for once. I should play Overwatch again. Like, I was good at Reinhardt. I have to fail. Which one was the guy? Was it this one? Hey buddy, how final? Uh, how do you like this game? It's pretty good. Science fiction version, whatever. How do you get into this? Well, the actual war made it out with only a few scars and a limp. Fortunately, kind of, I spent the whole thing hiding in a cave. Play their little game. Oh, okay. Oh, I have to, uh, I have to play D and D with these guys. Tacos have beans. Yep, I made actually really kick-ass nacho dip today. It had uh, it was a mix of uh, seasonings, sour cream, and and uh, cream cheese for the base. Then a layer of refried beans. Then a layer of salsa, and an extra extra thick layer of cheddar cheese. Like cheese. Alright, which battle would you like to recreate? The Battle of Cow Ridge. Oh, it's a. Uh... Oh, am I the. <laughs> you will deal three damage to this revolting human. The revolting human will be utterly destroyed. I'm a bean with horns. Curious well is literally how you how you farm and you use you use the shit you got for farming. Awesome. You'll have to do better than that. All right, playing it. All right. Oh, okay. So I actually have to. I'd buff myself. take some big thinking. Well, I, I think I already got this one. I think. Hell yeah. I'm cow smart. <laughs> I took the communal brain cell. <laughs> you prevail in the Battle of Cow Ridge. Heck yeah. Play another one. The Battle of Medley. What in the hell?
Oh fuck, okay. Okay, so I need to defeat that guy. <laughs> the cow is fucking dead. Lover's battle is easily the hardest. Okay. At least I appreciate you telling me that. Alright, uh, let's buff this thing. And this thing. And we'll. Destroy this guy. Hell yeah. Prevail <laughs> the Battle of Medley. That's right. <laughs> Alright, apparently the really hard one, Lobber's Battle. Oh, interesting, okay. myself. Hell yeah. I can finally type more. Why can't you type? Why couldn't you type much before? Yeah, just use text to speech. Damn, you beat that ass? Yeah, I spanked him. <laughs> I wasn't tutoring? Oh, okay, okay. Hello, whoever general is tutoring or is being tutored by. Final gaming. I think I got fucked here. Yeah, I got fucked here. Final, I speak like ass, I have to type. <laughs> Lurk each, okay. Or each good.
Oh, fuck. This, that unit has already achieved ultimate glory. Okay. I gotta surrender because I think I know what I did wrong. Brought food to my room. Nice, what are you having? Burger? Nice. What kind of burger? Also, uh, Mitsuhiro Yurai. I hope I said that right. How's it going? I saw you follow me last. Uh, follow me last night, and I think I. Uh, I think it was last night. Uh, welcome to becoming a butterfly, buddy. Just plain burgers with cheese. What brought you to my stream? Uh, what the fuck do I do? Fuck do I do? Fuck next round. Fuck. What, what brought me here is you are a cool guy, that's all. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, that. We must summon our ghost mod. Move on, Alley. <laughs>
feel like I did this wrong. Oh, no, never mind, I did it right. Hell yeah. Can't believe I'm not the pickiest one in my family. My sister only eats french fries. Okay, there's no other shit to do. See, I was, apparently I was a really picky kid, and what my mom did is that she just said everything was chicken. And even if, even if I knew it wasn't chicken, it, I still ate it because it was chicken. Does that make sense? Also, hello, Gumbo. Woke up ten minutes ago? Nice. Isn't it morning time where you are? Awesome. Wow, you're really good at this game. Getting good was the only way, way to keep my little brother from lording it all over me. All, uh, lording it lording it over me all the time. Ugh. I feel like we should give you some kind of prize. Um, I've got some leftover guns from when I was gluing figurines together. Want them? Sure, thanks. You got a bunch of really small guns. Stop playing around. Okay. Howdy, Ernie. Hey, final. Take your leave. Uh, who was I supposed to talk to about the thing? Looks like I broke your winning streak. Yeah, dang it, I guess you did. GG. Hey guys, I gotta go back to work. I'll catch you next week. The other guys reply with a chorus of see us as he leaves. Hell yeah. I can actually do things. The mouth final, you dumb fuck. What did I? Well, how did I dumb fuck things? Final, it's midnight. I don't know why I thought it was like or like two or three in the morning for you. I had a coffee when I got home at school. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. I was falling asleep in ELA. My mom's my picky eater. My mom fucking ate it. I'm picky, but not all that picky. Tired, send sleep, please. Bibbidi bobbidi boop. Uh. You're asleep now. <laughs> I'm so fucking dumb. <laughs> Feel free to use the, the dulcet, uh, dulcet, dulcet tones of my voice to, to lure yourself to sleep, if that helps. I don't know. <laughs> That's the best I can do. <laughs> because I'm starving, I can really be starved so she can't throw me with the food. Alright. Find a abandoned crate on the side of the trail addressed to Fort Treason. I guess whoever was in charge of living it figured, well, screw those guys. Serenity bullets and smelling salts. Interesting. You crack open the crate's hard outer shell and collect the sweet inner meat, except it isn't meat, it's items. Sorry, that analogy wasn't very good. If people actually use my voice to fall asleep too, I will be actually shocked. Just caretaker Shandy. Caretaker is sleeping off all that war game adrenaline, it's probably not to bed the bottom. Redwood. Looks like everything's done in Redwood. Cool. Oh, inner meat opposite to outer meat. Sleep is weird. I thought it was four hours ago, three minutes ago. <laughs> to be fair, I can sleep standing if I'm tired enough. That's actually impressive. My friends actually uh, find it strange that I can actually sleep sitting up. Like I'll just I'll just sleep in my chair sometimes. All right. 
Uh, yep. Yeah. Right, any luck recovering our yeast from those bandits up at the old Schmaltz Brewery? Yep. Well done, that's quite a help, thank you. Happy to help. Did you get our bread back from those miserable baker boys? I sure did. And thank goodness for that, another missed payday would have caused a riot for sure. Are you able to find that missing library book? Well, half of it. Well, that's a real bagel biter. Oh well, everyone mostly skipped the words and just looked at the pictures anyways. And mostly just the bottom half of the pictures, so that's alright. At least the captions are still there, I guess. Did you bring back the soup? I need all five bowls filled, mind. Got them right here. You're a real lifesaver. I was about ready to gnaw my own beard off. That'd have been a shame. Show the travel at the ceremony. Cemetery. Yep, caretaker's back on duty. I just got an achievement called Our Daily Bread. Uh, that's certainly good to hear those skeletons were a real nuisance. They sure have a way of getting under your skin. <laughs> the mayor glances at the list of problems posted on the wall and paces around nervously. About that lumber. Alright, well, you've helped me out quite a bit, so I reckon I can set you up with what you need for that bridge. Thanks. The mayor looks pretty relaxed now that the camp only has one problem. Read the list of Breadwood's problems. Bad lumber deal. We're giving lumber to the railroad company for like no meat at all, and that's bad. There's no at the bottom. Last time Mario let this list get over three items, we chased him out of town with his breadstick nailed to the top of his head. Alright, so we managed to get the bridge. Food court, Islamian mayo crime. No, it's it's not it's not a, it's it's not a crime, in my opinion at least. I know a lot of people who use like a thin layer of mayo to keep them uh, a uh, sandwich from being dry. See a campfire near the trail and turn off to let your horse rest a bit. Campfire's owner offers you a cup of coffee and suggests a round of tour of poker while it boils. You can tell from the look in his eyes he's planning to cheat, but so were you, so it's probably fine. Do it for my blood. Alright. Bronze, the old bronze buffalo. Yep, the good old Cleveland cabbage. The fuck? This guy stopped messing with his watch and started eating jelly beans. Sure, I can't have one of those jelly beans? Well, that was with a shot, okay. Hey, boss. Good news, we got that lumber shipment from uh, Breadwood. We're ready to go. You got that bridge built already? Yep. Most of the passengers were so bored they chipped in to help. Well, nice. Then we just have to lay the tracks to the west of the. We have to lay tracks the rest of the way into Frisco and our work is done. Both mine and yours. See you there, boss. Cactus. Oh yeah, we've made it to the new town. Finally, you fucker. It's fat plus fat. Use cheese or mustard. I, I, I personally use mustard, but I'm just saying I know people who use mayo. Or just don't be a weak bitch, for fuck's sake. You right past a woman who's running along in the desert trail on foot. And although I say running, it's a slow run with an odd loping gait. She's all dressed oddly too. No hat, just a thin strip of fabric tied across her forehead. Light clothing and strange soft looking boots that barely even come up to her ankles. Er, everything alright? Are you running away from something? Uh, something pretty slow? Like maybe a desert tortoise? Oh, no, I'm jogging. What? Jogging, I invented it. It's like slow running. Where I'm from, we just walk. It's better exercise if you go faster. Not fast enough to actually get away from anything though? Before running wears you out and that it isn't as healthy. It's healthier than being eaten by a bear. I look. I'm not being chased by bears. I've never actually I've never been chased by a bear. <laughs> yeah, that's obvious. You're alive and not mangled lumps. This is about physical fitness. 
fitting this dick in your mouth. <laughs> I want to fight them. Is it my internet or the one shooting itself? No, probably yours. It's about physical fitness. Bears aren't an issue. Okay, you're right. Thank you. There aren't too many bears out here in the desert. Back at Coyotes, though, you'd be in real trouble. This is a very frustrating conversation. They tear you to strips, even though those goofy looking shoes. Hey, I designed these myself. They are not goofy. They are pretty goofy. I mean, what good are they if you can't even run properly in them? But they don't prevent, and they certainly aren't going to protect your ankles. Uh, and <laughs> And they certainly aren't going to protect your ankles from coyote bites. They'll be perfectly good for kicking your ass. Goss, also this exercise has made you kind of belligerent. Get down off that horse. Let me see if you can catch me. You right away. The, jo the jogger runs after you for a bit yelling, but as she predicted, but as predicted, she can't catch you. <laughs> Gotta be those shoes. <laughs> My guy's an asshole. <laughs> hey there, Susie. Howdy, I guess I just got... I just got... Who said a check in this... What the fuck? No ranch is nearby? Not the narrow but there's a custard stand. Well, okay then. The last custard stand. Okay. What's going on, Shmi? This fancy pants called himself calls himself the Emperor, and he won't let us build up our tracks up to the station. You see if you can talk some sense into him. <laughs> Who the heck are you? I'm Emperor Norton. Antivirus. Some of you just like peasant meat because it could store it for a while, and people just decided they like the taste. Yeah. Well, if you add enough peppercorns to things, you'll get enough uh, spice to something that like doesn't want to make you tear your tongue out. And I'm in charge of the city, and you can't build any train tracks here without any permission. An emperor? Where's your crown, then? As it happens, I lost my dang crown. The whole thing didn't fit right anyways, but without it, I can't issue any from official permits. That means no rails for you, unless, of course... You were to give me a new crown, a properly fitting one. I don't have a crown, sorry. Well, I guess it just uh, 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 just tears it, don't it? So not only did you not get that permit, but also he reaches into his pocket and grabs a handful of powder, uh, which he throws into your face. Your eyes burn. Ha! Have a taste of my fa uh, famous antivirus. This game fucking sucks. <laughs> I can't believe I just got hit with Ant uh, Norton's antivirus. Oh, uh, this. Oh, uh, now I'm, f I'm, I'm fucking upset. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, I, I have like an insane burning in my in my head now. Your vision goes all weird and you pass out. When you come to, Norton is gone and so is the train. Oh, uh, what the fuck is this? Train go. That lunatic stole it. He drove it off somewhere into the desert. No one's gone off the rails. He points to a deep, uh, deep ruts off the side of the tra uh, railroad tracks. You walk over to investigate, but you can't see it because of this weird hexagon thing your eyes are doing. You should probably get che that checked out, boss. That Norton fellow said something about an antivirus. Maybe some somebody around here knows something about that. Yeah, probably. Oh, I am so sorry if anybody gets nauseous.
It's a flyer of some sort. Pick it up. You got comedy flyer, okay. It's a nice station, too bad there's no train that runs to it yet. <laughs> Where is Roberto? Now playing Projectionist Wanted. One of the streets is that the Projectionist Wanted 2 is already in the works. You don't look well. Uh, yeah, I can't see well either. Oh, did that rascal Norton do this to you? He was raving about some sort of antivirus earlier. Any idea how I can fix this? Did you know that fellow uh, named Roy Bean? The one that collects all kinds of jelly beans? I think uh, maybe he's got one made of honey and that could help with your predicament. That makes zero sense, but I suppose I don't have a better plan. I'm gonna go fix my fucking vision before I have a fucking, like, brain meltdown. Oh, this, I, my eyes are still doing that effect, even though they're, they're like, that's, fuck. It isn't that bad. We are a fly. There's a single yellow jelly bean in this case with a sign that says Paraguayan murder bee, murder bee honey jelly bean. Very rare. Does this jelly bean really cost 6,000 meat? Well, normally it does yes, but I'm, I'm guessing seeing how you help me out with the bandits, I can reckon I could drop the price to 4,000. Alright. Sure. You end up with a slice, slightly less exorbitant amount of meat to get the jelly bean. Well, at least I fucking got it. You eat, the, uh, you eat the jelly bean and your vision immediately clears. Modern medicine is really amazing. Wait for it, you can get it for one. You just got big scammed. Oh. <laughs> uh, at least, you know, I, I got it. something you found in Frisco, which means the absolute best case is garbage. You read the garbage, it turns out to be a flyer for the Comedy Shack up north of Frisco. You drop down the location of your map and throw the flyer away. Sorry, excuse me. All you need to do was the rest of his quests. Well, I can't exactly do them because I'm I'm missing things to raise my mysticality. Gurgling hiss draws your attention to a nearby skeleton. Honestly, just the fact that there is a skeleton here should have been enough to draw your attention, but I guess you're getting used to them. This one is wearing a rusted antique conquistador armor, caked with mud and rotting seaweed and wave, waving an, an, a waterlogged old blunderbuss at you. Draw fighter. Oh, holy shit. You lost. The conquistador arrived late to the party, but le uh, better late than never. I read monkey crotch, I am not sorry. <laughs> There are telltale signs of a train robbery. You jump to this fix his back and ride like the wind, following the railroad tracks back into the desert. When you finally catch up, you stand on, up on Fix's saddle and leap onto the back of the train like a real badass, just barely catching the, uh, the edge of the roof and pulling yourself up. Here's hoping you don't have to do that again. Your stuntman could have been killed. <laughs> Looks like Susie decided not to join you on account of not having a stuntman. So you're on your own until you get back to Frisco. You're feeling neither fair nor square. Take the train door. Actually, hold on. What happens if I do this? 
Barrel is labeled hand fruit. Pickled pig knuckles. Pickled crackers. Oh fuck. Nubs. Someone has carefully stacked all these crates with a this this end up arrows pointing in different directions. Oh, sp <laughs> more spigs. <laughs> How's it going, Spug? Uh, my nem. Oh, my, okay. We're gonna have to kill Norton antivirus. Mental birds. Out of thirty six, I can do this. Fuck. Oh, come on. Norton kicks your ass so hard that you fall off the train that lands in Frisco, along with the rest, all the rest of you. <laughs> Wait, what's my Mystic Alley at now? 37. Okay, I need, I need to make a drink. Uh, uh, Is it Seltzer? Okay, my mysticality is high enough now. Where the fuck? Oh, there's a cactus. Oh, yeah, dude, I'm doing alright. Go back from work, ready uh, to declutter almost everything I own. Why do you have to declutter? Besides, you know, obvious cleaning of, like, your personal space. Sell home, live in box, gym from buying from Walmart. Man. You see what you take to be an oasis in the boiling heat of this region, and Spurs fix towards it. As you near it, you discover that you've been fooled. It wasn't an oasis at all, but an evil towering black stone cow monolith. Anybody can make that mistake, really. Attack it. Oh, I just absolutely destroyed it. Finally, you know you can use guns for the special effects. Like added box or something. Oh. Okay. There's barely any room for me in the place to move into. I thought are you you both like when Sphix moves or, or must fix when Scam moves out, you're moving too? Catch. <laughs> Horn, Infernal Soul Fragment. Try the Obsidian Monstrosity, but good. Suzy comes another notch in the stock of a rifle. Make a tap. You bolt a flange onto a pipe and add a couple of rusty widgets. It's not pretty, but it's a tap. You also find an empty jar in the pile, which will be handy. Nice. Tap, tap the ga uh, cactus syrup. Yes, give cactus syrup. Hooray, the guard guzzles the entire bottle in a single long draw. It's both fascinating and disgusting. Needing for more proper bribing. Of course you are. This time, the guard moves away from the ladder so they have plenty of room to guzzle the syrup. Both moving, but I'm going to an ostensibly worse place than he is. Well, it's only temporary, right? You're, you're moving back together again. Am I wrong? Hello, hi. Hi, can I? Nope. Okay, can I? 
Yep, bring, uh, bringing me Goblin Elixir. What's that? A potion of extra delicious being. So good. The table is covered with flax. Flax? Um, you fucking drink. I can't say you. Flasks. There we go. <laughs> Break into his home to assert dominance. Can't fit my pooter box on the walls, but I, but I could. I'm sure you could just. You have to disassemble it. This guy won't be in the middle of streaming and he just hears how well this is running on empty food with you. <laughs> Tables covered in flasks, speakers, bottles, tubes, burners, and all the other equipment that make a super elaborate alchemy table. <clears throat> Including a whole bunch of different colored liquids and powders and stuff. Make a goblin mixer. <laughs> well, that's easy for you to say. Look for instructions. I just grab a paper and a drawer that looks maybe like instructions for an elixir, but it's all in goblin science jargon that you don't understand at all. Just start mixing things, I guess. Uh, you pick up a beaker and look at the ingredients. Start with... Indigo fluid, and then add some blue liquid. The mixture turns yellow and starts to smoke a little. What's next? Add some white lumps. The mixture turns green and starts to smoke even harder. Now what? Shake it up. You carefully pour the mixture into a cocktail shaker and give it a good shake before pouring it back into the beaker. The beaker turns red and, or the mixture turns red and starts to smoke like crazy. You manage to pitch the concoction out the window and duck under the table just in time. It explodes with a tooth rattling bang. Epic kegs everywhere. How'd I get free rent? <laughs> Not yet. Why the hell do I? Okay, you know what? Moth powder, gray liquid, purple slime, spitting it. You work up with a good mouthful of slime and spit into the beaker. The mixture turns black and starts to smoke like crazy. After a second, though, it settles down. Whatever it is, it doesn't seem immediately life threatening. It smells terrible, though. You pour the elixir into a proper flask. Who knows, maybe it isn't a deadly poison or anything. Did I actually just get away with it? Is your elixir? Probably. Oh good, yes. The goblin moves away from the ladder and takes little sips from the flask, savoring the flavor. Is it good? Yes, perfect. I can't believe I actually managed- what the fuck? How much do I have? 473, okay. Holy crap, if this is the most disturbing thing you've, uh, you've ever seen, I don't want to know what this was. Uh, hey guys, those jelly beans, can I, can I to having them? Oh, what? Our fruit rocks? No. No taking our fruit rocks? These being ours, not for, not for you taking. Jeez Louise. <laughs> the high blend. Nice. Talk to them. But not looking at like you're eating them. Our jar is still full. What? Eating? Fruit rocks not for eating. Front rocks just for looking at them. You're just looking at them? Not fitting through floor hole. Can't leave any room. F fruit rocks only entertainment being. Good grief that's set. Try to help them out. Okay, how about I, I teach you something else for entertaining? Something better than, fr than fruit rocks looking at. Mm, okay, sounding good. I agreeing? I not certain. What, what being better than fruit rocks looking at? Okay, 20 questions. 
teach the goblins how to play 20 questions, and once you get them over the initial hurdle of a goblin be uh, being uh, neither animal, vegetable, nor mineral, they pick it up pretty fast. Soon they're so focused on the game that they stop paying attention to you entirely. Hell yeah. The goblin pile is our two focused on their, on their game to notice you taking the daily beans. It was a fair trade, so they're yours now anyways. At least we can head out of the. It just, I don't know if I ever want to see that guy get an amalgamation or something like that. I think the earlier wants you to fight them. Yeah, well, I didn't. <laughs> off, to, off to one uh, one side of the trail, you spot a cactus that doesn't look quite right. Specifically. Uh, it doesn't look like, it doesn't look right because of this goblin face. As you get closer, you, be, you become pretty sure that this is actually just a, cow, a goblin in a cactus outfit. It gives you some annoyed side eye and tries to wave you away, but the cactus arms aren't very mobile. Uh, mobile. Uh, do you know a guy called Cactus Bill? Shh, away going. Why are you inside a cactus? Watching cactus herd for keeping safe from a predator. What predator? Any predator. Desert tortoise, cactus eagle, other goblins. Now going away, you're ruining my disguise. Okay. Now I can actually finally do this. Got him. Wonderful. Good job, kid. Looks like they're all here too. The goblins didn't need any. It is a long and weird story. Never mind then. You've done a swell job, kid. I've only gone a jar of more one more jar of jelly beans missing. They they were stole by a gang of damn hippies. Why'd they take him? Heck, who knows what a hippie's thinking? All I know is they took off heading south and a little bit west. Shroom cave. Oh no. The shimmering waves of heat. Oh no. The shimmering waves of heat, you see a massive pile of bones on the horizon. And fierce fix toward it to investigate. Turns out to be an even more massive pile of bones than you initially thought. Buffalo pile. Okay. Oh, I... You recognize this as an extremely hallucinogenic uh, Lactarius, uh, Dirty Hippica, okay. Carefully pluck, pluck the uh, Lactarius Dirty Hippica out of the ground and store it away. Cool. Someone lost a very dirty knapsack. Contains some loose bits of granola and with some very, very dirty clothes. Oh, and a map! Got item mushroom map. And draw a map covered in grubby and fingerprints. This one involves disco. Oh. <laughs> this this map is labeled shroom locations and shows a weird convoluted trail leading to a big axe. You recognize the X as this very cave. The dove line originates in a picture of an army fort. That's probably worth investigating. Fort of Darkness. Okay. Opens your third eye halfway, increasing your mystic calorie by 23. Holy crap. Another bit like curious. Pile of Bones is wearing some sort of necromancer cultist clothes. You grab everything that is nailed to the bones, and then you grab the bones. Bones, chips, loose teeth, human ashes, and a burnt scroll. It says Grutch on it. has been mostly burned beyond eligibility, but you can just barely make out the something about Falcao energy between the scorch marks. 
This time you started gathering clues about this whole perambulant dead situation going around these parts. You grab a notebook and play for clips. This is scroll the first page. Collection of clues required in your search for the necromancer's home base. Okay. Am I missing something? Eat the shrooms. I need to increase my grit, hold on. the mushroom your eyes go all wonky well two of them do the third one is finally open at least uh halfway galactarius what does galactarius do Go back in the cave, okay. It seems like there's maybe a tunnel here, but your eyes can't focus on it, right? Like it's slightly out of phase with reality or something crazy like that. Oh, am I gonna? Oh, I, s I see what's going on. But I'm gonna have to. I don't have enough. Do I have to eat all of them? I'm gonna have to sleep. Across an abandoned crate, uh, which uh, apparently fell off a wagon or something since the lid's been knocked loose. Mine all mine. I hope I didn't ruin it by accidentally eat or eating one. Climbing a mountain with Susie in a pitch black void, really, you get married to a tiger. You wake up ready to face a new day. Okay. Man, bitch is nice. Nice. You can buy another at a shop. Uh, do you know which shop? Rain of Tea. For each book of the page you read, one of your teeth falls out. It continues this way until more of the pages that you thought you had teeth. So you realize that your teeth aren't falling, but instead you've been learning how to conjure new teeth into existence this whole time. Ugh. Let's turn over the last page of the book, vanishes in a puff of smoke. Withered muscles. Okay. Weed. <laughs> the hippie camp. I think I know which one you're talking about. <laughs> Speaks when he says you approach. He makes sort of a glurk noise. Uh, where was the hippie cave? 
Lazy A dude, I think it was. It's dusty wooden crate lying near the trail and turns out to be half full of old dynamite. That's uh, probably not something that should be lying out in the sun. Carefully pick out the freshest looking sticks and get away from the west as quickly as possible. Is this the one you're talking about? Why is my thing being weird? Buy one. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Do you know someone that's hiring a baker? Heck, even a pay would be okay. And this is wonderful. Oh, geez, I can't go like this though. I'm filthy. No one will ever let me step foot in their kitchen looking like this. Give her a bar of soap. I can make trophy. Here you go. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Give her a bar of soap and direct her to bakery, boys' bakery. She sets off. She sets off to find somewhere to take a bath before a job interview. It's the Stearns Ranch. I wonder if I have that one discovered. Cow shapes stay on the wall, whisper peanut butter. Right. Oh. Pile of loose boards, build a crate. It's a crate, open it. Ha! I built a crate and it had things already in it. Okay. This is a fort of darkness. Pick up your damn mind, Elsa. Hey, Sawyer, how's it going? Oh, forcing that, okay. Not bad, are you? I'm doing alright. Thank you for asking. There's a uh, commercial. Sorry for those who aren't subbed. Oh, I I get the irony here. Oh. All these cannons have flowers stuck in the barrels. Okay. I got Hades today. Nice. I've heard a lot of good things about that game, but I haven't seen any gameplay of it. Also drinking. Nice. Oh, these people are cracked out of their minds. This guy seems to be in a daze, looking around uncomprehendingly at the boots and cobbler's tools around him. Hi there, there's some pretty cool boots you've made. Are they for sale? Uh, uh, no. I mean, I like to sell them to you, but they aren't mine. You didn't make them? It's funny how everyone assumes that, but no, these were all made by elves. Elves. Yeah, man, like little elf guys. They're hard to see, just kind of standing out of the corner of your eye, you know? But I'll just be kind of standing here and just kind of... And then I'm like, hey, oh hey, I got another pair of boots in my hands. Guess the elves made more boots. Huh. I haven't made a pair of boots myself in, I don't know, like a year? A year or something. These elves keep making them, though. I don't know why. Weird. You see any jelly beans? Jelly beans are weird. No, I haven't seen anything like that. Ask the elves, maybe. I'll give it a shot. You should open up a boot store. Huh? A store to sell your boots in. They're not mine, though. They're right, the elves. Well, the elves can't be making them just for fun, right? I think they're making them so you can sell them. Oh, that, yeah, that makes sense. There's a town called Dirtwater. Uh, you could really open a nice shop there. That's, um, that's a pretty long trip. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> but, like, it'd be dangerous. I'd be worried about the elves couldn't make it, you know? I... And I have tiny guns, apparently. Oh, wow, look at all these tiny little guns. See, without these, the elves will be able to defend themselves on the road to dirt water. Oh, man, that's so weird. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, cool. He packs his boots and his tools together and heads out of the tent. 
It'll be kind of amazing if he actually makes it to dirt water, but stranger things have happened. This young lady is dressed in fancy, ex expensive traveling clothes. The hard uh, wear has made them t uh, dirty and ragged. Also, her pupils are about the size of teacups. <laughs> wow, hi, a new face. My name's, uh, one sec. Irene. Everyone just here just calls me Mushroom, so I forget sometimes. Howdy, Irene. I'm fine. What's your story? It's... Oh, not much to tell. I was hitchhiking to Frisco a few months back, but I stopped here and never got around to continuing, you know? Like a big family, happy family here, and everyone's so nice and appreciative of how I know so much about mushrooms. Mushrooms, uh-huh. They're good for all kinds of things. You know which ones, if you know which ones to pick. If you want, I can sell you a few of my favorites, sure. Okay. There you are, these are called, whatever, and they are very spiritual. Sometimes I'll let you see things that only exist in realms outside of our own, and stuff. Plus they're super groovy and mellow. Neat, thanks. I had some jelly beans recently, I don't quite remember. Oh, they're in my lounge. Where's your lounge? I don't quite remember. It's only there part of the time anyway. What? Well, at least I have, like, a source of, like, trippy mushrooms. Gimme bones, okay. I'm final. Teeth, 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 clavicle, femur, teeth. Oh, okay. Oh, I wish I hadn't. Okay. I wish I hadn't sold all my bones now. It's a pack rat skeleton from the petting ceremony. Okay. Send the pack rat skeleton into your bag. The lady is too preoccupied with the contents of her head to notice. I am final. Salutations. Final, they call me the talking dude. Because of my extensive knowledge of the principles of philosophy and the arguments and conundrums surrounding its various aspects and interpretations. But that's not why they call you that. Can I interest you in a discussion of the particulars of Kur uh, Kurtzian philosophy? Do you know where Irene's lounge is? I have been there, but not for some explicable reasons. I was n never invited to return. I was self-actualized by returning on my own, but I don't remember where it was, and Todd will not tell me. It's quite frustrating. Uh, sure, why not? Talking dude begins and you immediately tune out. Interesting. Blah, blah, blah. Cartesian dualism, blah, 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 blah. Uh, blah, blah. What is reality, really? Blah, blah, blah. I understand it completely. I'm just gonna scroll through this. I will go sleep, so you better sleep in an hour? Okay. Well, I, I, actually, I actually, I think I'm feeling a little bit better after the day off yesterday, but... Sleep is for the weak, no, sleep is for the smart. Just sleep, or, and, or... I'm, I'm not saying those with insomnia aren't smart. You know what I mean? Kurtzian philosopher. What well, was a Kurtzian philosopher, or at least you pretend, you're clever enough to pretend to be? I got Mystic Kali for that. Cool. Okay, so I got. Hello. Oh, yes. Hello, oh, yes. Hmm. I'm Todd. Final. I'm pleased to meet you. So, what do you do around your top? I'm a chemist. I've been researching the properties of some of the local mushrooms. Probably is like, what? How they get you totally wrecked. <laughs> I'm kidding. They actually have a lot of uh, interesting properties that could be a real boon to medicine. That might even hold a solution to many psychological disorders. That's pretty interesting. The fact that they also get you absolutely smashed is just a happy side effect. Nice. Uh... You know where Irene's lounge is? Oh yeah, dude. Don't uh, don't tell don't tell the talking dude if you don't mind. 
Well, it's in the cave where we get all the mushrooms. Okay. Jokes at the apparatus behind him and winks at you. In fact, I do. Someone is rocking back and forth while making uh, raspberry sounds as she rapidly flaps her lips with her fingers. What are you doing? Nothing really, just making dumb noises to entertain myself. It's kind of reminiscent of something, but I'm not sure what. What on earth did I just come into? This record must be from a foreign country where music is way weirder. Ooh, stuff. Big pile of old military supplies that crates aren't even sealed. Military school class ring, nice. Your bullet, whiskey, smelling salts, chemical bullet, whiskey. A bunch of military manuals, they all look too complicated for you except for one. Cannon loading for idiots. Last entry says she was buried in the plot 420 of the military I already did that one. Really gotta get safe cracking. We're gonna go eat breakfast at 20 a.m. since basically good morning. Okay, take care. I had a crate laying on the side of the room that has lost Dutch, uh, Dutch oven of mine. That stents all its way up to the corner of the territory. That's pretty lost. Oh, what happened? Stuff. I attempt to go get absolutely fucking dosed. Oh, that's not the right place. Skeleton out here in the desert, it's not very strange because people die all the time in the desert. This, this skeleton is doing arm curls with a pair of iron dumbbells. She doesn't have any muscles, but somehow her bones are extremely ripped and or swole. That doesn't even begin to make sense. It turns out what they say about tr what this is true. Skeletons with big bones have big feet, extra large boots, and a Kellogg ranch brochure. Sure, you're sure of it. Oh, fuck. I'm not sure about that weird combination dude ranch sanatorium down south. It's nothing you don't, and already you don't know, so you toss it. Okay. This book is so rudimentary that it's insulting to your intelligence, even though you know almost now nothing about loading cannons. Fully opens your third eye. You so swallow the extract turns the world turns inside out as your mind replaces it. Oh. Oh, this is the lounge, okay. What a strange lounge. Take it. 
do it in your pack, unfortunately, there's really a lot of them. Lamp imbued with magic and filled with a strange lava like substance. Lime lime jelly beans. You look pretty cool under the black light, you have to admit. Your grandkids are gonna love this kind of music. Nice. if I set up this lava lamp now. Put the strange lamp on your table. Okay, I was expecting it to do something, but I guess not. Uh, cook something sublime. Uh, you don't understand the all-purpose beans, you know them, you don't cook them so much as befriend them, you ask them to become their best selves, for instance. Uh, immaculate beans. Immaculate beans. Cook black beans. Mori's coming to PS4 and Switch. I've never, I never played a Mori, nor have I seen much gameplay of it. I've seen Dunkachi play a little bit and someone else. I can't remember who. So I don't, I don't really know much about it. Forge some bean iron cookware. You can make something out of de some dense bean iron. Ooh. Well, three. Three mysteries. They're good ones, though. Uh, a colander. Squeeze the bean iron to the shape you desire. It's more complicated than that. Obviously, that's... Alright, and I want... A ladle. And a saucepan. Contemplate your skills and materials. Okay. I'm gonna just gonna keep this go uh, stove door. Hey Rakshas, how's it going? Also, I love that emote. Alright, have you bet the bootmaker next door? I wasn't inclined to believe his stories about elves. This morning I found a very interesting little hat on my doorstep where my milk delivery was supposed to be. Ah, uh, where's our merchandise? Oh, right. Six misses mysticality, and I need I need a snake skin. Oh, 
Oh, hey. Hi. Nice to see you again. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Uh, you're right. Is, do you prefer your eye or Mits Matsuhito? I am gonna. I'm, I will botch that initially, but I promise I'll be better about it. Good, just been catching up about four days of work. Currently, and done with one. Hell yeah. Hopefully, it'll be a qu uh, quick catch back. I get it round. <laughs> get around what? <laughs> Either or? Oh, okay. I'll probably call you Yurai because it's it's easier to pronounce. I, I don't I don't want to go botching names. Whichever you prefer to call me is fine. Bless your heart, man. Oh yeah, sure, no problem at all. Uh, I've been seeing them less and less since the move, though. So I've been making some boots myself just to help them out. That's real nice. Um, what can I get you? Show me your goods. That's plus three speed to a boot. Oh. Tony shiny boots. AP and spell damage. AP and... P okay, I need AP and spell damage. And some boot polish. Thoroughly polish your boots until you can see your reflection in them. Only your reflection is moving slightly the more more quickly than you are. Your boots are coated in line with some sort of reflective material that causes magical energy to pull up inside them. I am absolutely buffed with magic stuff. Final is still alive. I've been looking for a year now. Hard to think it's going to be... It's... Eight days? Alright, so there's two more stores. Alright, let's go to Roybean. Now that I can have a stuff. Off the distance, you spot a hungry bobcat sneak up on a cute little desert squirrel. How do you feel about that? It's nature's way. Ah, oh, fuck. I got a... It immaculately beamed. Where is my... Current stats, 57. Awesome. I want to know how long I've spent here. I thought watch time was a... a thing. I gotta check out Moobot later. Damn it, Moobot. I got right here. I, fig I fig didn't figure on seeing any of them jelly beans again. And here you brought back all three jars. I ain't got much to reward you other than a handshake final, but maybe I'll be able to pay you back somehow in the future. Cool. Let's go to Frisco, finally. The game that I want to play is two weeks away, and that's for that's for the three-day early access. What game? You think of your Alvar, but okay. Ghostwire Tokyo, I have never heard of that one. Is it an indie game or a triple-A or... Force the robot back into shutdown mode and the vultures uh, reclaims its perch. Moon bits. Hmm. 
Actually, no, let's kick Norton's ass. Wait, I forgot he throws mental birds. It's the most weak after spring break, but it's by the creators of the evil within. Oh, okay. Oh, he ran away saying something I wasn't gonna chat. Fuck. Like, I've kicked this whole Norton problem down the roadways. I mean, down the train ways. I mean, he ran away further down the roof of the train. Oh, good. Somebody has built a rickety ass bridge between these train cars. No, oh, this is, this is very safe and not panic inducing at all. Oh, more stuff than the train. Okay, uh, if I go... Let me guess, I can't go... These guys are so preoccupied with the door to the rear of the car that don't notice you prowling behind them. One in the back has a shiny key attached to his belt. Must be the key to the dining car because it has dining car stamped into it in big letters enough to read from here. I fucking don't have... This? Yeah, I got it. The guys have burgled the last train. You grab the key from the dining car and from the leader's belt. It's one of those fil fancy silver dome things on it. You never wanted anything more in your life and you want to lift up this dome and see what's under it. But you're not sure you can muster the amount of culinary expertise it requires to properly reveal a dish such presumed quality to it. A hey, voila. Oh, it's just a cream pie. Shaving cream. What kind of lunatics are running the food service on this train? It's less of a horror, more of a fight. I, I don't... I think I don't know what's out yet. I'll, I'll look into it later. I wanna, I'm kind of curious now. The table, look at, the table looks like it got jostled around in some kind of scuffle, but the flowers are still standing. The door between the dining car and the sleeper car is welded shut. There's Norton. You got a clear shot up from here if you want to throw that pie out of him. Throw the cream pie. <laughs> oh, okay. Why is this guy hanging at the top of the top of a moving train with a knife? Nestle scrolled notes. Note says I've hidden the key to the to the forward passenger car in my luggage to make it easier for me to murder everyone in the sleeper car. Sincerely, the train murderer. Okay, come to the roof of the sleeper car and in the next 55 minutes if you want to murder Ray. One of these sleeping compartments must be the belong to the murderer. Maybe it's the first one? You open the door to the first passenger compartment. The sole occupant is a little boy about 10 years old wearing a blue suit and knickerbockers. Uh, hello sir, is something wrong? Nothing you need to worry about, kid. I'm on the trail of a, a bad guy. Do you mean a murderer, sir? I'm pretty sure there's one on the train and they don't call me the world's greatest detective for nothing. What's your name, kid? I probably shouldn't say, sir. There might be a copyright thing. <laughs> okay, well, I'm pretty sure I can handle this. Let me just ask you one question, and then you and then you should lock the door after I'm gone. I understand, sir. What would you like to know? Are you on the roof of the train? Excuse me? The murderer left a note saying he's on the roof of the train. Are you? I... No, sir. I'm in my passenger compartment. Good, that'll be all. You open the door to a second passenger compartment and look inside. There's a portly man in a dapper gray suit with a tiny, meticulously waxed mustache 
and not like and not I'd like to clarify enormous bushy one excuse me why is there some way of I'm some way I might be of assistance once here sorry to bother you but there's a murder on the loose and I'm checking the passenger compartments sacre bleu this is very serious mon ami allow me to uh, proffer the, uh, to you the use of my little gray cells I don't know what that means but I'll thank you let me just ask you one question why certainly I met your service. Are you on the roof of the train? The roof of the train, Monsieur. Right now? That's right. No, I am here. In conversation with you. Good, that's all. Finding a piece of ledger because the key's in, there's nothing you can do. You open the door to the third passenger compartment and find nobody inside. Hmm. Since no from the murder said he was going to be on the roof of the train, that means he couldn't be in this passenger compartment. And since no one is inside this passenger compartment, whoever the compartment belongs to can only, by process of elimination, be on the roof. Which means the person who rented this compartment must be the murderer. Probably. The only you find you you find in here is a luggage ticket, though. It has a number three on it. There's a Lex and normal for the pre-order. Which one are you going for? For the pre-order. The only passenger in this compartment is a middle-aged woman who is writing something in a notebook. She looks up at as you enter and greets you with a f uh, friendly northeastern accent. Why, hello. Is there something you need to hear? Sorry to bother you, ma'am, and I don't want to alarm you, but there's a murder on the train and I'm investigating. Murder on a train? My goodness, that would be a wonderful premise for my next model. Novel. Sure, why not? Anyway, I just need to ask you one question. Go right ahead, dear. According to my evidence, the murderer is on the roof of the train. Are you on the roof of the train? Er, no? No, dear. Alright, thank you for your time. Would you like a meat pie? They're homemade. No thanks, just like I have a look at this plane car before you go. Ghost Warrior Tokyo will release on PlayStation 5 and PC. The date changed to the 24th, at least for the PS5. It's the 21st for Deluxe on PS5. I mean, I've pre ordered. <laughs> I've pre ordered a few games in my life. I, th I think it's okay to pre order. I'm going for Deluxe. Nice. Find the number big three and it has a key to the Ford passenger car inside. Very strong corroborative evidence for your theory of who the murderer is. Finally make it to the passenger car, one car back from the locomotive. Which may be confusing if you thought locomotive meant the entire train. So I could just say the engine, except that also refers to the engine itself. That is the actual steam engine that makes the train go. And not just the front more most car of the train. Anyways, you're in the passenger car. Suddenly... Suddenly, Norton clambers in the window. He must have dramatically clunked to the side of the train in order to reveal at the last minute that he actually hadn't been defeated. Dang it! He runs to the, uh, the frontmost car of the train and locks the door. What a jerk. Maybe get some of the passengers to help break down the door and arrest him. Maybe you could just kick down the door and shoot him until he can't bother anybody anymore. Up to you. All right, you know what, I think we're gonna get people out. The professional looking guy is frowning at a sheet of paper and occasionally scrubbing on it with a pencil and erasing what he just wrote. Excuse me, can you help me with something? I'm sorry, I'm busy. Ask my wife, or my daughter. God knows she could use something to keep her occupied. What are you working on? It's quite academic, I'm sure you wouldn't understand. Try me. You must know I'm a scholar of foreign antiquities. I'm attempting to resolve this ancient conundrum from the Far East. He shows you a sheet of paper with covered with little boxes, some of which have numbers. Oh, he's doing a Sudoku puzzle. Sudoku? I like pre-ordering. I don't know why people would pay for a game before people even had the chance to pay for it. Especially after some messes like Cyberpunk. <sighs> the problem is, is that, like, it's it's the love of a game, you know? Like, take, take me and Homework, for example. I've played the first two, and I've played the remastered. And I, I personally would like the chance to have it before, like, it gets taken up by scalpers. You know what I mean? Shows you a piece of, uh, solve for him. That's Sudoku. My little brother thinks they're for babies. What? Look, this box can't be a three or seven because you got those here and there, so it has to be a four. 
which means it's 5 here and 9 here, and if that's a 9, this can't be, so it's a 7, and this one's a 2. Quickly fill the rest of the puzzle. Well, damn it. What fun is it if you just solve for me? Sorry. Will you help me, will you help me break down the door to the engine and arrest the Emperor? Cool. Someone just ignores you. She must have been knitting the whole trip because it, she's got his... Because the scarf she's, she's made could accommodate a whole marching band. Excuse me, ma'am. Whatever it is, I want no part of it. I keep to myself. I keep to myself, and I have no desire to get involved. Thank you very much. Come on, this is important. A crazy guy stole the train, and I need to help arresting, or you'll never get to Frisco. But everything will sort itself out in the end. I mean, we need to help, but it will. Whatever. This little girl is peering out the window of the train, clearly bored out of her mind. Hi there, busy? No, all my toys and friends are in the luggage and it's boring and I hate it. Do you want to help me with something really important? Like what? Well, a bad guy took over the engine car and needs some people to help me break it down the door and arrest him. Well, Mr. I'm just a little girl. Hey, no, that's not a good attitude. Don't, let, don't ever let anyone tell you that you can't do anything just because you're a girl. But, hmm. Okay, yeah. We'll bust that crook's face in. Wow, that's the spirit, but you gotta pay me in advance. <laughs> Jeez, you're learning a little too fast. Alright, what do you want? Stuffed animals, I'll be right back. This guy's totally uh, franticking, which is a word I just made up that means ranting in a frantic panic. Everyone else is ignoring him as far as they can. It's different for a sequel though. The actual gameplay is base basically already established and you've already had a chance. And see that that much I understand. Uh, I, I guess yeah, original IPs are kind of a little bit worrying, but you keep in mind with like if it's if it's a if it's also a company with a reputable foundation of actually making half decent games. CD, CD Project Red was kind of a crapshoot because they had made Witcher, and now they've kind of have their the name kind of tarnished a bit with Cyberpunk. Um, but take, what was it, uh, From Software, who made Dark Souls. People love Dark Souls, and it's a really good game. So you gotta, you gotta think that, like, the people who, uh, in From Software, would at least have the brain to make a ha another half-decent game. The gameplay looks great, and the evil within games are great, so I'm hoping it will be a good game. Yeah, you gotta have a little bit of trust in the developers. If, if they shirk your trust, then... At least it's something to know for next time. It's all a lie. We're never going to get to Frisco. Frisco probably doesn't even exist. They've been testing to see how long we can survive on complimentary peanuts and bottled water, and now they're driving us uh, out into the desert to, fuel, to some kind of government camp. They're going to use our organs to fuel alien flying machines. Percussive maintenance. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. I lost it for a second there. Feel better? Well, yes and no. Listen, we gotta get to Frisco, but first we gotta bust into the locomotive up front and rest a crazy guy. I need some volunteers. Okay, I'm in. If I have to see her doing nothing for much longer, I'll probably flip out again. Is there a stuffy here? Sleep wasn't sent. Please try again. Uh... I'm not sure what to do. Hmm. Terror, you are getting very sleepy. When I snap my fingers, your eyes will become very heavy. And suddenly, you'll drift in and out of consciousness until you can no longer handle it anymore. Is it, 
What's wrong with man in a three-piece suit? <laughs> I I try I tried hypnosis at least once in my life. I can say that now. So overweight man in a three-piece suit and bowler hat is probably a banker or something. His eyes are closed and his posture is relaxed, but the clench of his jaw uh, betrays his aggravation. Hi, excuse me? How rough. Yes, what is it? Crazy jerk calling himself Emperor Norn has hijacked the train and he volunteers to help me bust down the door and arrest him. I see. And? And will you help me? Hmm? No, I'd really rather not. That sounds quite strenuous. Perhaps even dangerous. Come on, please. I don't think so. I'm quite comfortable here. I prefer to avoid stress. Pretty please? Again? No. I'm supposed to avoid things that might raise my blood pressure. Pretty please with sugar on top. Sugar is one of those things. Pretty please with gravy on top? Gravy is another. Please, just leave me alone. Please, 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 no. Stop that. I said no. Stop asking. You're really getting on my nerves. Please, 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 I'll stop asking if you say yes. I'm oh, damn it. <laughs> Alright, God, fine, I'll help. Just leave me alone. Oh, yeah. This lady's slipping through a book titled The Birds of the Western Territory, since most of the place is desert, isn't a very long book. Excuse me, ma'am? Yes. Great Psycho has taken over the train's engine car, and I need volunteers to help break down the door and arrest them. Oh, my. I certainly couldn't uh, be of any help with that. I'm very conflict averse. What if I told you he hates birds and is determined to outlaw them from the ter territory after he sees his power? That's very really sly, but I know you're only saying that because you saw the book I was reading. There you go, there. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's Russell! Oh, I'm sorry, I just kind of read ahead. Any other ideas to convince me? Suddenly hear a tap, a tapping, a tapping at the uh, passenger car window. What the? Russell? You open up, you open the window, and your pet crow Russell flaps and it perches on your shoulder. Hey, buddy, good to see you. Caw! Oh my gosh, what a beautiful crow! And he knows you. Oh sure, me and Russell got way back. Caw! I rescued him from a cat when he was only just out of his nest, and raised him as a pet. I set him free when I left home recently. I can't believe, like. For those who didn't see the beginning of this, uh, at the very beginning of the game, when I was just doing like tutorials and whatnot, I let I let my uh, pet crow out of the cage, and he just flew off. And he's just he's back. What is he? Uh, I rescued him from a. Uh, I set him free when I left home recently. What is he doing here? Has he been following you since then? No. But he just happened to be flying by and spotted me on the roof of the train and recognized me. Crows are crazy smart like that. It's amazing. Oh, what I wouldn't give to have an avian friend like that. Well, I'm still going to be doing a lot of traveling after this, I figure. So I can't really drag Russell along with me. But I bet Russell wouldn't mind being pals with a nice lady in Frisco, who helped save the train. What do you think, Russ? Russell calls again and flops over to the perch next to the lady. He lightly picks at her shoulder in a friendly manner. Caw! My goodness, how could I refuse? It's a pleasure to meet you, Russell. My name's Annabelle. Awesome, I'll let you know when we're ready. Let's hope I got everything. The bell and Russell seems to be getting along famously. You found the door to the locomotive, or engine car, or cab, or whatever. Open up, Norton. No. Alright, then I'm coming in. Oh yeah, you and what army, tough guy? You glance back at the passengers. Me and this army. <laughs> you and the passengers break down the door very impressively. It would have been even better if you had some torches and those old-fashioned rakes. Norton has backed up into the corner of the engine's compartment next to the engineer. He looks over at his shoulder at you and shrugs. So-called Emperor Norton, you're under arrest for the crime of being a total ass. <laughs> That's not illegal. It is when I'm in town. Everybody grab him, except you, Mr. Engineer. I can see you're busy driving the train. 
Right. Actually, if you could turn around and head back to Frisco at the next station, that'd be great. No problem. Okay, Al, let's go. This isn't over. You haven't heard of the last of me. Tell it to the judge, Norton. The prison judge. We made it. We got all the way west. We sure did. Thanks for having me along, Final. It's been good times, and by, by and large. Ah, heck, Susie. Susie Cochran, are you fixing to split on me? Hat, nah, I got no uh, particular press and business. I'd s I'll stick around till you finished. Whatever you think you're doing. High five. You did it. Thanks, boss. No problem. We got the track uh, right led up to the station now. The first ever cross territory railroad. Thanks to Manifest Destiny Railroad Company and principally, principally you. You did, a, uh, you did a real good job, Final Fire. Ah, shock six. The old piston monster, yep, the good old piston hippopotamus. The old tin bull, Steven Bison. Ch uh, changes every time, nice. Now playing the final cutscene. Nice. Before we go anywhere, I do want to go to. There's nearly identical houses as far as the eye can see. There's Clunsies. Yeah, let's 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 end it here. Uh, let's figure out who to raid. But, all right. Well, stick around. Let's see if we can raid somebody. All right. I see pipe is on. Anybody else? Uh. Oh wait. Sai is on. All right, let's rate. Let's rate Sai. All right. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed their time. I actually. I always enjoy this game, and I'm I'm glad everybody is, is sticking around and enjoying themselves too. Um, here's a Discord if you wanna if you wanna keep up to date with things and join the community. Um, but no worries if not. I understand like, uh, like it's not for everybody. Um, also I have a YouTube channel for any vods. I always I always post most of them. There, there's there's only a couple that I've. I've missed, but uh, that's something easily remediable. Um, well, I guess not remediable, but you know what I mean. Anyhow, um, the raid message will be Here's the raid message. Uh, if you don't got the pew emote, uh, feel free to use uh, whatever you got. And uh, treat uh, DJ not nice or sigh with some respect and remember to give him some love. All right, take care, everyone.